Hazel Sanchez joins us now. Hazel's been covering this case really pretty much from the start, Hazel. Yeah. Um, you explained it in the piece, but once again, set the table. What was the point of this hearing today? Okay, well, basically, the defense for Chanel Lewis wanted to set aside the guilty verdict in this case. And by doing so, they wanted to present their reasoning for why they wanted to set aside that verdict. And they were claiming there was jury misconduct based on allegations made by one of the jurors. And we just watched your story and there was a little confusion apparently between a client and his attorney because <laughs> on the one hand we heard an attorney say oh one thing and then we heard his client say another flesh that out for us if you would okay so what you heard the attorney say was that he thought that there would be a different verdict so as opposed to having a guilty verdict he said there would be something other than that whether it be a mistrial or a not guilty verdict based on um, what he said was pressuring by other jurors on his client but on the stand in the questioning by the prosecution the juror himself, Mr. Gooley, said specifically, I did not feel pressured by any of the jurors. Never once was I insulted by them. Never once did they pressure me to, to, um, to go along with, with the guilty verdict. And when he says that, uh, uh, presumably under oath, in court, that pretty much sets the point as to how the judge is going to rule, correct? Yeah, basically. I mean, he made several allegations about what some of the jurors did that were considered jury misconduct. One of the, one of the um, allegations he made was that the foreman had made a decision on day one mm -hmm. of testimony, which was when um, Karina Vetrano's parents testified, and that he claimed the foreman approached him and said, listen, I already made my decision. I hope you did too. And that is misconduct. Conduct, but that he the, the prosecution kept bringing up that instance, an instance that two different uh, jurors you use personal experience to influence what they what they saw as the evidence in this case based on their prior experience, whether it being a juror on another ca a case or their own personal experience. But he he made it very clear when the prosecution questioned him that none of that information was he was not influenced by them at all on, on making that decision that he felt that all Chanel right. Lewis was guilty. And there was also this concern for murder. Guilty for murder. Guilty I for should murder. make that Correct. clear. Uh, that's true. There was also concern about uh, the ability to view a confession tape. What was that controversy? Well, during the deliberations, and that was actually a point of contention because at the very end, the jurors had asked to see the confession tapes. If you may recall, Chanel Lewis confessed twice, once to the police and once to the prosecutors, that he, in fact, um, killed Karina Vetrano. They asked to see the confession tapes, but there was a glitch with the equipment, so they were unable to view the tape. So the judge said, go back, eat dinner, we're going to fix the equipment, when you come back we'll view it. But during the dinner they decide, we don't want to see it. So they thought, well, they, the defense was trying to say that that uh, Mr. Gooley was kind of rushed into making the decision to, to, you know, to go along with everybody else because this equipment wasn't working, they didn't want to stay there all night, but in in fact, one of the jurors, uh, juror number nine, who testified today also said that, no, that wasn't the case. The only reason that they wanted to see the confession tape was actually because they wanted to see the confession, um, the transcripts. Oh, the and they found out that in order to just view the, cr the transcript, it also had to be had to go along with the videotape but they only wanted it not for anything specific mm -hmm. but just because they wanted all the evidence from the case available to them okay so, and that so was tomorrow just, is sentencing yes tomorrow is sentencing it's decision day it's final decision day but you say there is an appeal going yeah the the uh, Chanel Lewis's defense has already said that they are going to appeal and I spoke to Chanel Lewis's mother today who said that for as long as she's alive she will fight to clear his her son name. All right, Hazel, great work on this trial and Thank you. all throughout the case. Thanks very much.